The next thing we're going to do is start to populate this area here at the side, which is known as the sidebar. And this theme has automatically put these things in, categories, pages, archives, blog roll. But we don't have to have those things. There are other options for this sidebar. So to work with this area, we want to go to this widgets section. So let's click on that. And here on the right, it shows us this is the sidebar area. And here are all the widgets. These are things that we can put in that area. And you can add plugins to your site, which, which are widgets. So the, these are plugins that, that you can then put in the sidebar. And there's various different plugins to do different things. Um, but for now, I'll just show you a couple of the simple ones. You can put a simple text widget here. So I'm just dragging that over here to the sidebar. And then you can see it opens up and I'm able to add to that. So this is a simple text widget. Um, and I'm going to put free tennis lesson. You could put some text in here. OK, you can see what I've put here. If you're new to Superstars Tennis, please contact me to book a free tennis lesson now. There is a way to, to make this contact me into a link so it goes straight to our contact me page. But that's slightly technical, so we're not going to do that right now. I'm just going to save that and show you how that looks in the site. OK, so we've now got that in our sidebar, free tennis lesson. And that's quite a good thing to have here because we want to put some kind of call to action or, make, or free offer or something like that. So that when people come to our website, there's something that immediately grabs them. So that's one thing you could put there, free tennis lesson. Um, let's go back into the widgets area and do some other stuff. By the way, you'll notice that all those things that were automatically in our sidebar, the categories page, the blog roll, all that stuff, that's just been automatically removed by me putting this text box in there. Um, those items are just put in there by the theme, and as soon as you replace them with something else, they get taken out. hope that made sense, but we can put those things back in if we like. Um, here we have categories. Let's put that back into the sidebar. Okay, here's, so there's a few settings here for categories. You could give it a different name, so it's not called categories, here where the title is, but I'm going to leave it as categories. Show hierarchy is quite good because that shows um, the, the categories that are subcategories. Show post counts, that's up to you. Display as a drop down. You can mess about with these settings and, and see what you like. So you can just save that. So if we go back to our pro, uh, back to our website, there you go. The categories have been put back in. Let's go back to widgets again and look at some of the other one. There's lots here, and you can just decide which ones to put in and mess about with which ones you like. So we've put in a simple text widget. We've put in the categories widget. Another one you might want to put in is links where you link to other websites. But before you do, there's a couple of things you have to do. Just hover over links here, and that comes up with link categories. And here we're going to add a new link category. And this could just say our friends or useful sites. I think I'm going to go for that. I'll leave the description for now and let's just add that category. And now we can, under links, we can add a link and give the link a name. This is going to be Oxshot Tennis Coaching, which is my coaching program. Web address, don't forget HTTP colon forward slash forward slash when you put in a web address or it won't work and then I'm going to go for www.surreytennis.com my website you could add a description 
and we're going to put this in the category of useful sites and add this link. Let's now go back to the widget area. And we're going to drag the links over here into the sidebar. This is the links widget. In this drop down box, we want to just select useful sites or whatever you've named your your category of links. And I'm just going to save that. And let's go back to our website and just refresh the page and see how that looks. There we go. So we've got our offer of a free tennis lesson, the categories of posts, links to other useful sites. But these are just some things that you could choose to put in the sidebar. There's loads of things that you could put there. This is just an example, so you can decide what you want to put there. But I do want to show you one very useful thing. Here, this, this is a plugin, simple image. So I have... I've um, added this plugin to the site the same way that I added the Contact Form 7 plugin. So all you need to do is go to plugins and add new and search for this one called Simple Image and add it and activate it. And then you will find it here in the sidebar, uh, in the widgets area, ready to be put into the sidebar. Now I'm going to take out this free tennis lesson text because I'll show you what I might use this simple image for. Let's drag it over here to the sidebar. Now, simple image, it does basically what it implies, which it, it, it means you can just add an image to the sidebar. And the way you do it is by going to media, add new, and then just upload the image from your computer that you want to use. So I've uploaded an image. By the way, I've discovered for this particular theme, the best size of image to go in this sidebar area is this, 270 pixels by 200 pixels. That's 270 pixels high. Uh, sorry, that's 270 pixels wide by 200 pixels high. And if you're not sure, sure how to resize pictures, there's a very useful, simple online tool here www.webresizer.com That's a very simple tool for doing that. But anyway, I'm just going to... I'm going to go down here. Where, where it says File URL, when you upload a photo or anything to your website, it gives it a, an address, a URL. Now, I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to select it and go control C. I'm just going to save. And let's go back to our widgets area. OK, now in this simple image widget, I'm now going to paste that URL. You can put alternate text. That shows up if for any reason the photo doesn't display. I'm going to give it a title as well. Now this is the interesting bit. This link URL enables people to click on the photo and it will take them to any link, any web page of your choosing. Now, I have added a page to this site when I wasn't recording. Let's just go to pages because I want to find this page. 
I've added this page called Free Tennis Lesson. Let me just click on it. And I want to copy the permalink to this page. Let's go back to the widgets area. I'm going to paste that in the link URL. We can decide whether we want the link to open in a, in a new window or not. I'm going to go for not. And let's just save this and go back to the site. And I'll show you what I've done here. So you can see my picture here. And this is a very simple picture, which just has some text on it. And depending on your skills, you could do something much more impressive than this. And I would as well if I had more time. But I think this looks a lot nicer than that simple text widget that we use. So when somebody comes to the site now, there's quite a nice big call to action here. Book your free tennis lesson now. And if they click on this, that's going to take them to this page where it tells them how to do it, to arrange this session, call Carl, um, or fill in the form below. By the way, to, to put that form in there, all I've done is pasted the code from contact form 7 as we did in an earlier video. So there you go. There are some ways to populate your sidebar. And you can have a mess around with all those and, and decide what you want to put in there. Let me click back on the home page. And this is now approaching something like what we want it to look like. Um, we've got most the parts of a website for, for a small business. It's got the different pages, advertising the different services, contact me page, a call to action here to get people to book their first session, stuff in the sidebar, depending on what you want to put in there, categories, links to other sites, you could put recent articles, etc, etc. So we're getting close to, to having the site how we, how we want it. I'd probably mess around a little bit with the design of some of these things and make it look a little bit better, but we're definitely getting there. In the next video, I will show you some more useful plugins, in fact, some very vital plugins, and I'll also show you how to back up your website, which is also a vital thing to do so you don't lose all of your hard work. Hope the video was useful and see you in the next one.